Bob DeFazio. Thank you so much for joining us again here at the GearWire.com studios. I'm here for a product demo of the new guitar synthesizer by Roland called the GR20. It's a heck of a lot of fun. I'd like to show you how it works. First thing you got to do when you get this guy out of the box is hook up the hardware to the guitar itself. You get a MIDI pickup here. It attaches itself over to the GK3. And the GK3 is a rolling piece of hardware that accepts the signal, the analog signal, from the output of your guitar and also creates a MIDI signal based off of what you play. So there's a dip switch which allows you to have just guitar. Or just MIDI. Or a mix of both. So that basically explains what goes on on the body of the guitar. I'd have to let you know that you do have to spend some time getting this pickup situated so that it sits just as close to the bottom of the strings as humanly possible um, and also that it keeps just the minimum distance away from the strings. So the closer it is to the strings, the better the sensitivity of the pickup. Now let's go over and look at the faceplate. So once you get your hardware properly attached to the body of your guitar, then the next thing you got to do is make sure that the sensitivity of the pickup is set properly. So what you do is you hit the sensitivity button and you go through each string and you're going to see uh, these pattern selectors here or patch selectors are going to turn into an LED meter and let you know if you're getting the right sensitivity. So you just go through all your strings and make sure you're getting nearly maximum sensitivity. If you're not, you can expect to have some problems with certain patches um, basically like the sustain won't work or you won't get the right kind of attack so on and so forth so go ahead and do that the GR20 has 10 different preset uh, banks and inside of the banks are many many uh, variety of patches so I'll just kinda quickly walk you through some of these guys here here we have first off a string or orchestra bank And you go through the different patches in your orchestra bank. One thing I've noticed is that this synthesis uh, situation affects the way that you play your riffs in a much different way than a traditional guitar effects processor will affect how you play. So, for instance, I'll give you a dry riff. And then we can go through our different types of patches and show you you know, on a piano, there's a certain action that people have on a piano. And with a synth. with rhythmic elements. So, specifically you can go into each bank, pick particular patches, and then you can modify them in the following ways. There's a glide, which is like a portmento that you can turn on and off. Uh, you can hold it down and you can get a, a portmento. You can also hold for a sustain if you want to sustain a particular note. Then you have a basic um, envelope here, attack and release. So obviously quick attack, slow attack, and so forth with release. There's chorusing that you can apply to every patch. There's a little delay and reverb that you can put on there and an output level. Then 
you have the ability to edit your patch and you can edit by hitting the patch editor and then you get a frequency control which is basically a filter a resonance control which is like a cutoff filter transpose which allows you to move it up and down by octave or fifth if you so choose and then you get this thing called playing feel which is like a sensitivity control so obviously here's the riff uh, just the way it is And then I can boost that frequency way up and get a nice treble sound. And bring out the brightness. And I'll go over to the resonance, crank that all the way up. And then we can go over to transpose, take it up a couple octaves. Or down. And this can be very useful if you're in the midst of doing a riff of some sort. So let's say, you know, you got a riff going. So this really allows you to turn your six string guitar into much of a bass because you can certainly exceed the limit of the low end that you'd normally get on a guitar. Well the GR20 certainly has some fine features and I haven't been able to show you all of them. There's certainly a heck of a lot more you can do with this thing. But I thank you for joining us. I hope you learned something and see you next time on GearWire.com.